Hi everybody, Jean McDonald here with Transition Tip Tuesday. Many of you have been hearing about this journey that my brother's gone through. It started out almost a whole year ago when he had a brain hemorrhage and then two months later had a seizure. And he was living in a beautiful area of New Mexico on a beautiful estate and suddenly I had to go there and just uproot him and bring him to Washington State. Have him move into my house for, gosh, at least, what was it, six months or eight months until we got him a place of his own. So his transition has really been a tough one. From going from a, a vibrant, healthy person, independent, living in a beautiful area, to now not being able to drive, having trouble even walking, moods going up and down. Some of it from the whole transition has affected his mood and uh, has affected depression, but also the medications, anti-seizure medications typically cause de depression also. And we've been in a process of changing his meds around. And that brings me to today's topic is dealing with the ups and downs of a tough transition. Our weather here in Washington State up in the north northwest corner finally turned warm. And I noticed a change in my brother because he's used to warm dry weather. And one day he wanted to go for a walk. That was great. He was so pumped up and we went for a long walk and then the next day crashed. All of a sudden, um, fatigue, depression, so much hit. And then it's kind of stayed that way. And then this last week, we went out to, to lunch, you know, uh, at the landing where, uh, the landing here in Port Angeles, where we could, it was a clear day. You could see Canada, see the uh, ferry that's going to the Victoria Ferry, the Coho. And just had a very nice, enjoyable lunch. And he felt very uplifted. He was seeing his mountains, seeing things. And then crashed back down. You know, it's it's like up and down. And one of the reasons is he's having side effects from his new medication. So I visited my sister-in-law this last week. And her daughter has had epilepsy since she was a child and it took a long time her her daughter experienced grand mal seizures and it took a long time to figure out which anti-seizure medicine worked best for her well i let my brother know this and because he was starting to even talk suicidal he jokes but you know you can't take that too much as a joke and so um, I told him about my sister and said, let's be patient. Let's keep exploring. The doctor has mentioned that there are a ton of different medications for him to try. And that at we, it takes months and months to transition through each of these um, medications because you can't just stop one and start the other. You have to wean off one and get the other one started and then sit and let the new one work for several months before we really decide it's not working. So just letting my brother know that there was hope, that he didn't have to live his whole life with dizziness, with fatigue, with depression, with all these side effects that come from his, his medications. So yes, it's been an up and down journey for my poor brother through this tough transition. And my tip today is just realize that there's going to be a lot of potholes in this journey. It's, it's not a smooth journey for everyone and in every type of tough transition. In fact, I seem to remember most of the transitions in my life had some glitches, you know, um, some went smoother than others. It depended on whether or not that transition um, was one that I wanted. You know, if it's a purposeful 
transition and it's tough sometimes you you expect things to be tough you expect things to not go as smoothly but you're moving towards something you really really want and so that makes that transition perhaps a little easier to um, deal with the ups and downs whereas when you're in a tough transition like my brother where he is I, this was not intended this is not the life he expected to have and these transitions um, can really affect him but he is having more days that he's feeling better than not and you have to just appreciate that part of the transition and move with the hope that yeah things will get better we'll keep trying with his meds we'll keep working with him taking him on more walks getting him adapted to this area as well as getting adapted to this transition in his life because some parts of this transition will be irreversible um, he may never drive a car again he may um, or he may be able to. He may be able to walk or take a bicycle or a scooter. We don't know yet. But the fact is, just know that there'll be ups and downs. Forgive yourself, be patient with yourself. Know that this is part of the process. And I think the greatest part, greatest tip in this is, is to share your journey with others. And get that support, get that validation that it's okay to be frustrated and and confused and and just angry sometimes that this is going on. And let let the process happen. But realize it's not gonna be a safe, safe, smooth, easy journey all the time. In fact, that's why they call it tough transitions. So, so with that, I am going to say goodbye, goodbye for today. We're starting a caregiver support group live this Friday in Port Angeles at the Senior Center. But you can contact me because we will have a virtual component to this. So if you want to attend virtually, if you're not in our area, please, or if you're in our area and you can't physically get down to the center, please contact me um, through Facebook, through, through my website, gmcdonald.com, and we'll get you connected so that you can join us. It'll be the first, third, and fifth Fridays of the month, and from 8 to noon Pacific time. So with that, have a great week ahead. Enjoy our weather, and, and wishing you better transitions. Take care. Bye-bye.